Hi there, and as always, welcome to Painted Door. Today, we are going to do such a fun snack. It is delicious, and it is easy, and it doesn't take much time. So follow along, because, as you might guess, I'm not going to exactly follow the instructions on the packet. So this is the name of it. This is Party Cracker Seasoning. It comes simply just like this with a little package of seasoning inside. And it also is included a two gallon Ziploc bag. So I have cheated just a little bit about pouring the oil. I've already opened the package of seasoning, but let's talk about the first instruction that I uh, don't follow. This says to make crackers, seasoned crackers for this packet of seasoning, that you need four sleeves of saltine crackers or two boxes of minis. And I'm sure by now everyone has seen these wonderful minis in the, the store. So what we have found here at Painted Door, and we make these crackers every week and serve them to our guests, what we have discovered is for one packet of seasoning, you can easily use three boxes of minis, or you can use four, six sleeves of saltine crackers. So on this, it would be a box and a half. On this, it would be three boxes instead of two. One box plus two sleeves more instead of just one box. So I'm just putting this here so you can just get a visual on it. We have uh, tried different, different quantities. Um, I honestly felt like that there was a little bit too much oil if you just follow the instructions of one box of four sleeves or two boxes of minis. So if you really want a little bit of an oily, very seasoned cracker, you might follow the instructions first, but it's been our experience that the other has the wonderful flavor, but not quite as, as greasy, if you will. So the instructions ask for you to take the seasoning and one and two third cup of canola oil and mix it together in the bag. Um, I think that it's best if you use the canola oil. Other oils don't seem to work quite as well. But this is included and you definitely will need the two gallon size because you have to have room for these crackers to rotate. So, as mentioned, I, I cheated just a little bit. First, let me move this off. Okay, I'm back. I cheated just a little bit and I've already opened the seasoning. And this looks really funny, but this is the way you do it. You're gonna put the seasoning in and be really careful when you pour this in that it does not um, um, penetrate the air with the seasonings because um, at the very minimum, it will make you sneeze. Okay, empty all of that in. Then you're gonna take one and two third cup of canola oil and you're going to pour it in. And doesn't this just look like a crazy mess? So, here you go. This is what you have. So holding this, the best way I've found is just to hold it and with your other hand, just press the oil and the seasonings and keep pressing until it's all dissolved and it really doesn't take long. So at the end, when it's all mixed, you don't have any of the seasoning that's left to dry, and it's all ready to add crackers. Now, the first time I made this, I thought, oh my goodness, when I add the crackers, the first crackers are going to be really oily, and then the next crackers are not going to be so oily, but that's not true. You will never know the difference from the first box onward when you're adding crackers. Let's see if I can get this to stay open. 
So today I'm going to use three boxes of the minis because I just like it better. It's, it's more fun to serve here in the store and actually it's a great snack at home. Now if you're doing something with a dip, probably the larger cracker would be a better bet. So you're going to pour in one. Two. Oh, and I have had this bag collapse before. It's a big mess. So try to not let that happen. And three. Okay. So make certain that you seal the bag. And do not worry about removing all the air. Actually, you need some air in this bag. Okay. So when you get the bag sealed, and you need to double check it. Then you're going to take the bag just like this and start tossing this around. And it just looks like the biggest mess. See this? You keep turning it, rotating it, until you can see that all of the crackers have been um, in contact with this, this seasoned oil. So while I'm doing this, I will tell you the next and really the final steps. Uh, the instructions say, let crackers rest in bag at least overnight. Um, I, if I'm going to serve these crackers, I make them at least three days ahead. And um, once I get them all covered, and this is the way it should look, Once I get them all covered, I put them out in a place on my kitchen counter where it's not busy, where people won't bother, and I leave it just like this, and it's going to have air in it. And every morning before I come to work, I flip it over, and every night when I come back, and if I'm cooking in the kitchen for dinner, I'll flip it again, and then I'll flip it again before I go to bed. The point is, if I'm going to flip it this way, and you shake it after you flip it. Now the next time, I'm going to flip it this way, and then the next time back. So you're constantly rotating. Over a period of time, you will find that a lot of this oil will be, it'll be sucked up. So, uh, try it. If you, I think it's hard to know to break the rule until you've followed the rule. So, uh, and if you don't mind a little bit of oil in this, follow just exactly this and then maybe branch out and see about three boxes of the minis. It is such a great, great snack, um, and it's wonderful for dips. But on a dip, as mentioned, maybe you would want the larger cracker. So, enjoy. <laughs>